What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to continue working on the off-road buggy and I've finally found a motor for this thing. This is a 140cc um, clutch engine. So it's been put into a smaller frame. Um, this is a 50cc motorbike. I got given this motorbike off a friend for free, so that's pretty good. Um, this engine's done about two hours worth of work. It's just been sitting a long time. Um, so I think the first thing we'll do is try and get this thing running. Um, and then yeah, we'll probably pull the motor out and sort of mock it up inside. So let's get started. All right, sorry about the lawnmower noise in the background guys, but um, I just turned the fuel bowl and tried to drain it and nothing came out. So this thing has been sitting for a long time. So next thing I'm gonna do is put some fuel in it and we'll try and see if this thing will go. So this thing goes unreal, I'm happy with that. Um, so I haven't ridden a motorbike in a couple of years, so it was a little bit sketchy at the start, and it has got a sort of slightly flat tire, but that's all right. Now this thing's sort of worn in, I'll be able to pull the motor out. Um, I think it should be geared right, so I'm sort of looking for a medium range with this thing, so we can go fast when we need to, and we'll be able to pull some logs and stuff if we want to chuck some wood in that in the back, um, and just rip along and have some fun. So yeah, I think this 140 should go well if it's geared right. So I'm gonna try and keep that stock rear end. I don't wanna change it out for an ATV. Yeah, so let's start pulling this engine out. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, um, these plastics just cable tied on, so that's nice and easy. I'll rip, whip them off. Um, and the next thing, I'll take this chain off. Um, I am gonna use the engine, uh, sorry, the wiring loom out of, out of this bike, so I'll be able to incorporate that. Um, I think you can buy electric start kits for these as well, and probably some sort of charging system, so, because I wanna run lights and LED lights and all that on the buggy. So I have to look into that, but for now it'll have to just be kickstart. So hopefully I'll be able to pop the seat up and, and kick it. Um, yeah, so I'll whip that off and then the motor's held in by about three bolts. So we'll pull that out. too long um, sped through it so um, as I forgot to mention too guys this is actually oil cool this motor I didn't even know that um, so that's pretty cool so I've got the exhaust and the intake all taped up so nothing can get in there next thing I think we'll do is we'll make some room inside um, I might pull that electric motor out and just see how it's gonna work and um, yeah all right so now I've got the body off um, I took some of these wires off just cut them off because I don't need any of that um, that motorbike wiring loom will be enough and we can add to it all later so the next thing to do is I'll grind these little welds off on this battery box and take that out because it's in the way. Um, and then I'm not sure, we may have to cut this beam here, but I'll be able to, just for the swing arm to come up, but I'll be able to brace it back and put some more strength in through here. <laughs>
reason for putting the engine on here is so I don't have to run any sort of train tensioner because uh, they can be quite a pain. So I'll be able to run straight to the shaft. I am planning on having the motor run to a jack shaft and then off that shaft run to the um, electric side of the motor because I'll have to try and gear this thing right up. Um, a lot of people on YouTube and that put the stationary motors and just put a, a small gear on the back and you know that, that's sort of fine for probably their sort of purpose but I do want to sort of have it in the medium range where we can go quicker and we can also uh, have some torque. That's, that's why I've sort of gone with that four speed uh, motor there. But this battery box was extremely rusty. Um, it's all flaking off, so it's sort of good to cut that out and I'll be able putting some new metal in. So there's the motor off, um, that is our spline there that we've got, so I don't know what tooth that is but I have heard you can press the armature down inside off the shaft and that'll give you, you know, the shaft, the length of that motor. So what my plan here is, I've checked this and when these wheels are spinning forward, that moves forward which is the same as a motorbuck motor and it moves backwards but obviously we don't have reverse for now. Um, so the plan is to get that shaft and put it out here and then put a pillow bearing at the end there to support it We'll put a gear on that and then the motor will be sitting well, somewhere here And that'll be running to another shaft and then that shaft will run to the diff shaft um, So now what we'll do we'll whack this motor on the stand I reckon in there and just roughly see how it looks Check this out I cannot believe how good this has worked. So, that's our chain drive up there from the motor. So that'll come out into a shaft. So we'll be able to adjust what sort of speeds we want out of this thing. So we can put different size gears and all that. Um, and then obviously that shaft will come out to this armature here, the shaft with a pillow block. They'll all have pillow block bearings. So you'll be able to replace them. And I'm thinking about putting a park brake and all that on there too. So you actually slow down the drivetrain, not the, not the wheels because the wheels are old sort of drum brakes. Um, that'll probably work good as a handbrake or something, but uh, we'll just have to see anyway what we work out there. But obviously this won't have reverse either. So I'll have to try and look into some sort of starter motor or something to kick this thing over, just because it will be a pain to push. Um, and just another thing while I'm here, guys, I'm actually thinking about putting a steel tube to connect this side to that side there. Because when I pulled the body off, um, this, this one here was actually pulled out. So it sort of flipped out because obviously it's just pivoting off that top bolt. But that'll stiffen up that rear end too and give us a bit more um, stability in that. So that'll be good. Alrighty guys, now that's done. I think we'll whack the body back on. Um, and I might try and play with that roof that I got just to see if I can sort of make it fit. I'm sort of interested to see what I can work out there. Um, I am expecting some heavy showers. It's coming soon, so a big storm. So I can't get too much more done, but I think that's a lot for today anyway. So yeah, we'll whack that on and we'll see if we can get that to work. The roof I've got mocked up. Um, what I actually did was this part here was bolted up the top, so I flipped it around because this is an older style cart where it bolts to the front. Um, I found out that it's actually had um, a bit of a bend in here. I don't know if this thing's been rolled or something, but um, this mount here was bent, so I've tried to hit it back, but it's still not quite even. Um, at the back here, they actually sort of tapered in a little bit because um, with the other cart it was a little bit wider, so it doesn't really work. I reckon this is actually for a one one person cart as well because um, it's actually it sort of misses the edges here it's it's um, pretty small but may end up having to just build a frame like I've said before and and uh, putting some canvas or something on the top because fiberglass is really difficult to work with but up here I've got um, the bend isn't actually quite as good 
so I'll have to, it doesn't sort of match what I mean there, so we'll have to bend that down I reckon a little bit, um, but I'll give that a go now and see how it goes, and we might even just put a bolt through here just to hold it for now, because I'm sort of, this thing's just been sitting out in the weather, so it's sort of blowing around and stuff, I don't really want it to crack anymore, or get any, any damage, so we'll try and mock it up and see if we can make something work, and then we can always modify it. Alrighty guys, that's awesome, I'm happy with that, the roof is actually completely on now, um, I do have to put some bolts through here, but I'll, I'll do that another, at another stage. I'll probably just put a strap around there for now because this is sitting out, um, outside until I come out and work on it. Um, so yeah, the front come along pretty well and the back I've just got a couple of little dodgy spaces in there for now but that all works. But yeah, that's going to be a wrap for today's video guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comment section what you think we should do next to this thing. Should we add a winch and a front bar up or something or like a bull bar on the front or should we put a tray on the back or anything like that. Um, obviously I'm going to get that engine in. I'm going to do a bit more research on that electric motor and see how we can adapt that up to that um, petrol motor. Yeah, but thank you guys for all the love and support. I appreciate everything. Jump over to Instagram for an inside scoop before YouTube. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. 